Hi, and welcome to my very first tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to show and hide the mouse, basically whenever you want. Not much to say about it, so let's get started. So I started with an empty scene, and then I added a floor with Pro Builder, and then I added my player. But as you can see, when I start, the mouse is still there. So I added a cube, just so I could use it as a trigger. And I added a simple texture to it, so it's easier to look at. And as you can see, you can go right through it. And now you're going to want to make a new C Sharp script. And don't worry if you're not good at coding, because I set up a GitHub link where you can just copy and paste the code. Link in the description. And it's important that you name the C Sharp script mouse with a capital M, otherwise it won't work and you'll get an error saying, cannot derive from mono behavior. And again, if you don't want to code any of this, you can just go into the description and copy and paste the code from my GitHub link. But if you don't want to do that, this is what the code has to look like. It's just two functions, one for showing the mouse and one for hiding it. And now back in Unity, I added an event zone script that I made, which basically means if you go into it, then it triggers an event. But don't worry, I'm going to show you how to do it in the next tutorial. But if you're from the future and you've already seen that video, then here's what you got to do. you got to drag the event zone script onto the cube, then you got to drag the mouse script onto the cube as well, and then you got to drag the cube from the hierarchy into the event zone and then click the drop down, hover over mouse and click on the hide or show mouse. Then it'll work. You also got to make sure that you've checked is trigger in the cube's box collider. Otherwise it'll just act like a box and you can't walk through it. And as you can see, when I walk into the box, my mouse disappears. You also better make sure you put a crosshair in the middle of the screen so you can actually see where you're looking. And now I'm just duplicating the cube so I can show the mouse being hidden and shown. And if you're wondering, yes, this does work with buttons. And all it does is hide the mouse, it doesn't actually pause the game. And as you can see, when my mouse is gone, I can't click on it, because I have no mouse. And if you turn off the mesh renderer of the cube, then you just have an invisible trigger. Thanks for watching and goodbye.